Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Makana Man at YouTube proudly announcing this uh, new year my 2014 Gunpla Builders World Cup entry work in progress video. Now this is a lot earlier than I have done uh, in previous years. I'm taking aboard advice from other uh, winners uh, the, uh, throughout the competition who normally spend or dedicate a good part of the year on their projects and to be sincerely uh, truthful I have already started around December I've uh, done very little work but I've got some bits and pieces to show off uh, the models that I will be working and the overall dream deadline whatnot. Now, another reason why I'm also making this video, I would like to announce through Ghost of Xeon on uh, GundamForum.com.au the official announcement of uh, the 2014 competition has been confirmed by Hobbyco. Also, the rules have been posted and uh, generally more or less set in stone. The uh, rules are very similar to previous uh, years, especially last year, uh, major uh, reconstruction. Though the biggest uh, one to look out for is that it required um, a name or title to your overall build, which uh, you can see in the latest uh, Dengeki Hobby, Hobby Japan, I'm not too sure which one that showcased uh, the Japan finalists. They all have uh, a name now. So it's just a little something uh, to uh, think about for uh, people in different uh, countries or Australia that's also entering the uh, same competition. All in all, uh, I'll start uh, demonstrating my ideas and whatnot. The plan is, is going to be an overall large medieval themed diorama. Uh, mobile suits redecorated as... Uh, knights in armor or soldiers in metallic armor fighting with melee uh, weapons. So some uh, details such as backpacks and thrusters will be traded for things like shields, chainmail, leather straps and as usual in my style playing with uh, textures, rivets, uh, zimmers whatnot and decorate on a large uh, diorama foretelling a story since I've been getting into reenactment fighting and every year my big builds being um, influenced on something that really inspires me or is a part of my life ah uh, this is going to be uh, the big one and also I promise the amount of effort that I'll be putting into it my goal this year is to win the Australian uh, heat uh, I still have as usual no problems uh, building and designing at my uh, usual pace, style, and of course sharing my uh, builds. I've got uh, no qualms with uh, hiding what project I'm doing and people seeing how it uh, evolves over the process. Uh, some people may think that people can uh, watch and try to outdo, but you can feed someone with as much information as you want. doesn't mean that uh, it's going to make any difference in the uh, competition. All on this. This is a bad drawing, very granted, though. I just need to <laughs> chalk out my very, very uh, basic design. And you'll see it grow. Uh, I've got things very clear in my mind on exactly how it looks, though. Uh, my drawing abilities is uh, not that uh, crash hot, though. If you're familiar with my past uh, works uh, you might get a bit of an understanding of uh, the layout. The uh, diorama is uh, definitely not to scale though the figures are and the spacing are is fairly uh, where I want them to be. What the uh, story that I'm uh, telling is uh, two factions uh, fighting a sort of a riffraff uh, mercenary look uh, going at a uh, rustic Orkish, uh, German, Gothic uh, group. We've got uh, just three gruntish uh, guys that are going to be in a wall watching uh, a duel. And we're going to have um, a shorter, yet yeah, a lot armoured, thicker, wider suit versus a much uh, taller and very dynamic uh, 
character. They're going to be in their position duking it out and we'll have these three sort of slowly approaching in watch of what's going on and a dead fella in the corner. There's going to be all sorts of debris and stonework and lots of uh, interesting bits and pieces uh, wrapped around the joint, all painted, weathered, detailed, uh, the whatnot. Hopefully in the next month uh, the diorama will start uh, taking a shape, taking form, as I'll have enough figures to start designing how much space uh, these models will be taking up. Now, as I've mentioned, I've already started. One is almost done. I'm just uh, priming and uh, refining mistakes. There's quite a bit of uh, super glue dropping or streak marks, so that needed to be uh, buffed out, cleaned up. But uh, this is one of the um, Age Grunts Gaffran I acquired for three at a uh, Bandai workshop that um, I was instructing at and uh, assembled him. The interesting part is, besides him just uh, being in a different position and uh, not articulated, is uh, being chopped up and definitely changed to look very uh, armor-like. We've got um, chains glued uh, in serial lengths to resemble chain mail, uh, arrow quiver in his chest, and the dude is uh, definitely dying. Some of the more very iconic uh, Gundam-y stuff like spikes around the elbows, shoulders, head horns has been uh, cut off. This guy is not too important, just the grunt. And the uh, putty filled in and he'll be textured once uh, his uh, arm has been refined enough to my taste. Over here we have uh, the Gyan. He's already started to sustain some uh, work, has been assembled, his uh, seam lines are uh, filled and uh, the position is already all super glued in um, a manner that I like. This is the pose of Bean. I've already decided that he's going to be armed with um, a buckler, a small shield and a long sword which I'm yet to sculpt. Here's already the work that I've uh, started on the uh, buckler. And here is some uh, very awesome custom decals. I've had Samuel decals develop, design, put together for me. And uh, there's going to be another sheet made up for the final build but uh, this is just an experiment to see how it turn out, how it would look uh, more or less. Well, that concludes the first work in progress of uh, my first uh, work in progress for the Australian Heats of the Gunpla Builders uh, World Cup. Let us know what you're thinking, any opinions. This is only uh, very early days and um, to tell the truth, uh, I have been a bit slow lately on it. Uh, I haven't been getting exactly inspired, but starting a series might light a firecracker up and uh, getting myself more inspired to work harder on it. I will be doing not as regular updates as I've uh, done in shorter spans when I've started my uh, big uh, build of the year. Uh, there'll be other projects in between, so maybe for the first three, four months, there might be once a month, once a fortnight uh, update, and obviously closer to the deadline where it's going to be a much higher uh, priority or requirement to uh, finish. Uh, there would be an almost uh, weekly update and other projects are uh, frozen for uh, that part of uh, the year, uh, more or less. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, stay tuned to this uh, build and all other projects, uh, tanks, the Gundams of uh, this channel. Catch you guys next time.